Hey guys, I'm going to be sharing my current nighttime routine with you today. I have been filming and I am wearing a lot of sunscreen, so there's a lot to get off. Firstly, I'm going to do eye makeup with flawless cleansing water or my cellar wizard, really. It's actually got incredible cleansing power for something that's like almost nothing. I mean, there's about eight ingredients on the inky list. Here's my little re reusable pads. So just gonna press, let the product do its dissolving thing and then gently swipe. So I'm gonna wet my face. Okay, so wet face and going in with two pumps of flawless cleansing gel. Two pumps because I really do have quite a lot on my skin. I was using Sculpted by Amy Second Skin Foundation. I have some concealer on and a ton of sunscreen as I said. Now, I just use a firm, round motion, a full 60 seconds. You know the drill? Okay, so padding dry, clean. Um, after rinsing with tepid, not hot water, yes? Hot water leaches out essential lipids in our skin's outermost layer, which is not a good thing. All right then, so, slightly pink face my skin always goes a bit red after manipulation so tonight we are doing a little nightly pro action I have been using a retinoid prior to nightly pro hence my skin is tolerant and ready for it but before I do nightly pro I'm gonna do my eye area with um, nightly eye serum and I'm gonna use one pump between both eyes, and I use my fourth finger to apply it. Now, five dots, and the reason is just I'm gonna target my eye area with something a little less potent, although in time there will be those who become able to use Nightly Pro in their eye area, but I would always suggest that just like we use Nightly Serum in the rest of our skin, that we use nightly eye on our eye area first. And then once tolerant, we move on to nightly pro on the face and also potentially the eye area. So yeah, always getting tolerant at the lower potency, both nightly eye and nightly have 2% granactive retinoid, nightly pro has five. So six weeks at least, and more like three months if your skin is sensitive of using a lower strength retinoid before climbing the retinoid ladder and going up to 5%. Now the nice thing about nightly eyes, it also contains nice moisturizing ingredients. So you are plumping and rehydrating and activating at the same time. So Nightly Pro, um, I have a little lip balm on already but do do an intentional bit of barrier work there and you know if you're dry anywhere kind of check your skin sometimes people get dry here put a little flawless moisturizer on first if you're not using the eye cream use flawless moisturizer to create your goggles so i'm going to put a tiny bit on my nasal creases that's quite a lot but just so you can see Anywhere where product might collect and cause irritation, if you're prone to sensitivity in your neck, buffer with moisturizer for. So I'm doing night dots. And it means I can put Nightly Pro on my neck because I have been using a retinoid for some time on my neck, but it dilutes it down a little. So I'm customizing the use of Nightly Pro depending on the area I'm using it on. So more gentle on my neck and using Nightly Eye on my eye area. So Nightly Pro, I'm gonna use a full pump. If you're starting out with it though, do use half a pump. So that's about a fingertip quantity. That's the right amount once you're used to it. 
to treat the full face. And I'm going to do 13 dots. So three on the forehead and each cheek and then two nose and chin. And then we massage in firmly in a targeted way so that we're getting a thin layer all over. But there really shouldn't be any excess when it's worked in for about a minute. This is not a moisturizer. You're just treating the area with a thin layer and it should absorb pretty quickly. Temples, but not overlapping where I've put nightly eye, okay? Work it into the nose. It's often an area people forget to consciously work product in. My nose will go red, oh well. And then the chin. And as you get nearer the more sensitive structures, like around the nose, even near the lips, use a finger so you're more accurate. You're not applying it with a large applicator, okay? Then I'm gonna do a little bit more in my neck. I can do a pump because I'm buffering with moisturizer underneath. Now, what I'd say about the neck is probably don't use it in the first few weeks. You want to really test how your skin is gonna behave on your face first, which tends to be a lot more tolerant. So think about treating the neck maybe after six weeks. See how you go. Generally, by the time you're on something like Nightly Pro, you know how your skin is gonna behave with a stronger retinoid. You always do it less often at the beginning, every other night, until you get a feel for how your skin's gonna behave. And you can do that for one or even two weeks, then try daily use, then try increasing from half a pump to a full pump, and then you're on the right dose for the long term. So we've done our eye area, treated our face, buffered, and treated our neck. Now it's time for a full fat layer of moisturizer over my skin. There we go. So I'm not waiting a huge amount of time for that. It's just touch dry, fine to apply. And don't worry too much about leaving big gaps between cleansing and doing your treatment step. As long as your skin is dry, you're fine to proceed. But basically play with moisturizer underneath and over the top. I am doing both underneath and on top for my neck because my neck is sensitive, but for my face, Nightly Pro onto cleanse skin and then moisturizer over the top works well. So that's my nighttime routine with Nightly Pro and Nightly Eye. I'm ready for bed and I'll see you guys again soon.